Hi hey guys, in this episode we'd like to uh, cover the high strength sheet bend. Um, it's basically going to be a slight variant on the normal sheet bend if you've learned to tie that knot before. It's just going to have kind of an extra loop thrown in. Um, the way the high strength sheet bend is going to work um, and the primary uses for it is going to be for tying two ropes um, end to end together. Uh, if we ever have a, a haul where we have to do greater than our 200 feet bags will reach, um, this would be the knot that we'd prefer you tie uh, to connect those ropes together. Uh, the primary reason we're going to utilize this knot is it is going to be the easiest knot for us to untie later. Uh, if we used one of the other knots, like a double fisherman's or something like that, it's going to likely weld itself into the rope once it's had a rescue load put on it would be very difficult to untie. Um, I'm going to tie this with two different color ropes. That'll help you kind of visualize what's going on here. Um, this can be tied with two ropes of equal diameter, uh, like we have here. We've got the half-inch static kern mantle rope. Um, or it could actually be done with two ropes of unequal diameter as well. If you're using unequal diameter ropes, you want to keep in mind that the fatter uh, rope or the larger diameter rope will want to be, will, you'll want to start as the bite, okay? So when we tie this, we're going to start with one rope as a bite and one rope um, just with the end of the rope. Okay, so if you've got two different diameters, this one here will be the, the larger diameter of the two ropes, okay? So, starting with the bite, the way I've always tied this is I just kind of put my finger up along one end of the bite. Doesn't really matter what the orientation is here, um, what side the tail's on, just so long as you've got a bite that you're kind of holding out here. I always take this end of the rope and I bring it straight in towards me, okay, as if I'm kind of poking myself in the face, and then throw the rope up and over the top of my finger. Give yourself a little bit of tail here so you have some room to work with. Take and bring that rope around the back. And the reason I put my finger there is that's going to kind of guide the way as to where I want to put this. Okay, so I'm actually going to stick this rope right up there through there where my finger is and throw it around the back. If we wanted the normal sheet bend, we'd stop here, go ahead and pull it, and then that would be the sheet bend. Since we're doing the high strength sheet bend, we're going to do one more wrap. So we're going to bring it around the back again and stick it up through there one more time. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and tighten these down. That should be the kind of final appearance of the high strength sheet bend, okay? That's going to be completed by putting safety knots on both sides. Um, both ropes are going to safety back to themselves, okay? So we're going to use our um, double overhand safety just like we've always done. I'm going to give myself just a little bit more rope here. You can just feed this through if you didn't leave yourself quite enough tail to do your, your safety. Okay, so we're going to put a double overhand on this side. Um, once again, butt it up right up against the knot itself, like usual. Okay, so there's one. And once again, if you ran it a little short on your tail, you can give yourself a little bit more by pulling it through here. Okay. Okay, and that would be our second safety right here. Okay, um, as you can see, it's not really kind of the cleanest looking knot, but we've tied properly. It should move through your system fairly well, um, and it's going to be a lot easier to untie than some of the other knot options. And now you've connected two ropes together, um, and you have a lot longer stretch.